Hi guys, I'm demoing here the, this new plugin from Black Rooster Audio. It's a Cypress TT15. It's very similar to an orange amp um, and uh, it's completely free. There's not much, uh, there's not many knobs here. And uh, I found out that they also have two or three CLA type amplifiers uh, also free. I didn't know that, uh, I'll show them in a minute. But for now, this is uh, just the Cypress, it's a very simple amp. You got um, the power, which basically is the, the bypass. You got the output stage, low and high. You got the cab cabinet. Um, in, in, this, in this case, you can use, uh, I'm figuring out, you can use another cabinet from um, other software, because uh, at least in this version, there's no option to, to use uh, other type of cabinet uh, but this one. I think it is uh, purposely to use live or with the software. Then you got gain, tone, and volume. So I'm I'm using my Les Paul uh, traditional from 09, and it has um, the pickups are the classic 57 plus on the bridge and the classic 57 normal on on the, um, on the neck pickup. It's not tuned. The G string always. Okay, this is my direct signal into my focus right 2E2 Scarlet and first generation and um got a pretty decent signal. Uh if you guys notice here I have to use uh, a noise gate from Logic because uh it's really messy when you start to plug the Cypress. Let's do it. And I'm going to start with the gain low. Maybe I have no sound this way. Let me try it. Flip the pickup here, to the bridge pickup. Yep, no sound. So let's start with the gain. Okay. As I said, this is a bypass. Let's start with the low. And the cabinet is always on because if you put it off, you got this fizzy sound, no cabinet at all. Okay, so let's start with the gain around here, the bridge pickup volume uh, and tone 12 o'clock and see what it sounds like just some regular chords and phrases uh, certainly is a an amp that cuts through the mix uh, let's dial some some more gain here. Now the noise gate starts not to react, no no problem. Sorry for the guitar is out of tune. There's a lot of gain in this amp. Let me just tune in a second. Now with the neck pickup. Sounds nice to me, a lot of beefy tone. Let's exaggerate and put the gain on maximum. On the bridge pickup now. Lots of feedback and uh, probably a, fizzy, a fuzzy tone. Night pick up. I saw, let's back up a little bit again and start messing around with the tone on the bridge pickup. Okay. Open up a little bit. You 
can get a decent Zeppelin sound out of this. Decent rock sound. This is not for metal, of course. And the volume, lastly. Just the volume knob. Let's increase the tone a little bit. On the on the bridge pickup. It's very kind of not harsh but has a lot of a fizzy top to it. Complete chords. Sorry for the mistakes. Now the neck pickup with the same settings. I like the sound of it. It reminds me like of those British pop bands. Let's increase the tone totally when the neck pick up and increase the gain a bit. I think even so, it, it's a very defined uh, pl uh, plugin software because even with this amount of distortion and using my Les Paul, I can clearly hear the notes of the chords. Completely fuzzy tone, uh, fuzzy, sorry. Let me back up the tone, increase the gain on the neck pickup. Let's see what it sounds like. Kind of cool, and it's always an output. It's uh, on low. Let's put this on high. Let's see the difference. Let's put this on everything on noon. Let's see the difference. Let's see what happens on low and high. First low, uh, neck pickup. Just a simple G chord. Open G. Now high. You got more volume. It's like if you're opting for, uh, you know, 50 watts or 100 watts. I didn't read the, ma read the manual, so I really don't know what's emulating. So this can be very loud. You probably want to keep it in low. Okay, well, let's increase the gain once again. Back to tone up and use the, the, the bridge pickup. If I disengage my noise gate, it's something like this. Okay? So. up now what about a client a nice clean tone let's check out decrease the gain I'm gonna disengage the night gate for now uh, both pickups on a less pole tone volume um, this is without no effects at all, okay? If you want to add effects, uh, you know how to do it, in Logic at least. Really easy, some delay and reverb probably will sound better. My guitar is out of tune. Let me just fix it quickly. Gain, 
just a little gain. Increase the volume and the output. Let's see how it sounds. has got a very decent sound to it and very very dynamic and responsive to the pick and um, it really shines. It's not heavy on a CPU either so sounding on the bridge, on the neck pickup, not on the bridge. Sorry for a guitar, it's out of tune, I don't got no tuner right now. It's free, go to Black Rooster Audio uh, site and um, just regist, uh, register and create an account and download it for Mac or Windows. You got VST, uh, AAX, uh, all the units, uh, and some other stuff. Let me just check out both pickups. It has a beefy tone to it, so I really like it. I'm gonna start to use this more often. Let's check out some j j j jazz tone. I'm sorry. Back up the tone. Okay, now a little bit roll off on the tone on the last ball. The neck pickup. Sounds nice. So here is the my sound demo of the Cypress TT15 from Black Rooster Audio. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and check out on their site. I I have yet uh, I've got no camera right now attached to my Mac because it's a Mac Mini, and I can't film myself. Um, but I'm going to buy one. Just one last thing. Uh, like I said before, they're also giving away um, this these two plugins, two or three plugins. Uh, the Canary, which is some it's really weird. Some sort of filter and also those two this one VLA 3A which is like a you know 1176 their 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 approach to it and then one another the 2A which is the same thing but um, you know with the with the, um, the front not black uh, yeah, they both do the same, gain reduction, pick reduction, and, and gain, sorry, pick reduction, compressor limiter options, and um, then the gain to compensate. They have very both very slow uh, and release attacks, to my knowledge. But find out more at their site, and hope you enjoyed the video. This is a great, great uh, uh, amplifier, although it's digital, and I have much more amplifiers here, many more, I mean, I normally use uh, Scuffman S gear or Amplitude 4 or lately more on the BIOS stuff. But this one sounds really authentic. It's very simple to use and I bet uh, it will make your mix sound very good if you had some effects and stuff like that. Very easy, three or four knobs and a great sound. Thank you for watching once again. Cheers. <laughs>